What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be breaking down the best cover 3 bomb. Actually, the best bomb in Madden 22. I'm super excited to bring this to you. This literally is going to bomb every single coverage in the entire game. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. I release videos every single day to help people become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to take your Madden game to the next level, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Okay, guys, so the play we're going to be going over in this video is the play Clear Out SE Out out of the Shotgun Bunch. And we're going to be showing you how this literally can obliterate every single coverage, starting with cover three and kind of working through the different coverages. Now, before I go too far into this video, I do want to let you know that I actually have a full offensive guide out on the Gun Bunch offense. Now, this is a guide that was started in the Seattle playbook, but I've actually expanded this to multiple other playbooks. We're gonna actually be adding and updating the guide today with some concepts out of the Washington uh, football team playbook. We're gonna have some concepts in there out of Carolina. We already have some concepts in there out of the Indianapolis Gun Bunch. So my point is that if you want to learn and really master the entire Gun Bunch offense in Madden, I would encourage you right now to pick up that, that offensive guide um, there's going to be a link in the description of this video that you can click on that will take you right to my website where you can get the guide. It'll take you like five minutes to pick it up. And again, that guide is just 15 bucks, but it's literally the best offense in the game. It's the number one offense being ran right now. And if you want to learn exactly how to do everything that everyone's doing and also some things that nobody's doing, I would encourage you to get that deep or that offensive guide. That being said, let's get into this cover three bomb. This is an absolute dot in my opinion. It's just an incredible concept um, out of the clear out of Seattle. So the setup's really simple. All we're gonna do is we're gonna motion the square receiver to the inside, put the running back on a wheel and streak the R1 slot receiver. This is an all out vertical approach to passing. But what you're gonna see here is against the cover three, that square receiver is going to get over the top of him. And we didn't get great animation right there. So let me try that. Let me show you that one more time. And sometimes practice mode can be a little finicky because they're not doing zone drops. We can get a little bit of a weird stuff. So let's show, let me show that again. Typically what will happen is that that uh, corner will bite on the wheel route. So let me see if we can get that to work here. And not, not open on this play. So we'll show it one more time. And it might just be because he's getting jammed. So what I'll do in this example um, is I'll put these guys in in hook zones as opposed to flat zones. Typically what people will be doing is they'll be zone dropping um, their, their coverage. So you're not gonna get the match and the stuff like that. Uh, part of that is just kind of a, a result of practice mode being a little finicky. But anyways, let me show you that route combo again. And that's what we're supposed to get right there. So let me jump into instant replay, kind of break this down, show you why this is so good. That's the cover three bomb that we're supposed to get. And like I said, that's probably about 90% consistent unless they're doing some kind of crazy match defense out of their cover three. Um, this is going to be pretty effective. So what you'll see here is because Evans doesn't get bumped by this guy. Now we're going to get perfect. Er, er, and also I think the seam flats because they were not dropped. They were matching on the running back. Anyway, that being said, watch the corner. So you see right here when the wheel route comes into the grid of the corner, he reacts to the wheel route. And as you can see, we're able to get this guy over the top for an absolute dot and a one play touchdown. So that's how we talk. That's how we bomb cover three. And really, there's no necessary. It's really not necessary to go over too much else on cover three. The one thing I do want to show you, I just want to show you for consistency sake. Let me just show you one more time. So again, you see me motion them in. And you see if the if they don't repress that corner that that can occasionally happen um the best way to combat that is to basically get them to press the corner so if they press the corner if they don't press the corner and you motion him in you can just put him on a regular streak and inside pass lead it um but if he gets this press alignment right here now what you should see is there it is again so it's kind of a press press deal um if people press which most people do press um especially out of mike blitz three this year okay so that being said, let's move on to the next coverage that we want to break down, and that is the cover four quarters. Cover four quarters is one of the defenses that I think you're going to see most from top level comp competition because it's probably the best against corner routes. But the problem is, as you'll see right here, the cover four gets absolutely obliterated by this play as long as we don't get insta shedded in practice mode. Let me show you this again. So we're gonna use the exact same setup. That's what I like about this play, is it's all the same setup. Uh, to me, that's really, really important. 
But you'll see right here, and again, I threw that a little bit too early. I didn't get the guy to react because I'm worried about the shed. So for that purpose, let me just kind of back these guys off. You're not going to get sheds like this in game. You're, it's, it's a practice mode thing. Everyone knows that practice mode gives you the best, like, craziest sheds ever. So anyway, let me just back these guys off. This is what you're going to see more of. So as you can see right there, R1 gets over the top of the cover four quarters or the match. The beauty of that is that's also going to be cover four palms. It's going to be cover six. It's going to be palms. It's going to be uh, quarters. Any match defense, that is going to kill it, okay? Because we're running three vertical to a match side, which is kind of the idea. So that's cover four uh, show two. Uh, now I want to do a video or a breakdown on the cover four drop. So if they run a cover four drop, what you're going to be looking to do is you're looking to hit um, you're really looking to hit your circle receiver. So you're going to wait. You're going to see he's going to get outside release here. Pass lead it to the right. And you're going to see this is going to obliterate cover four. Now, it's not going to kill it for a one-play score all the time. But it will get over the top for a massive, massive, massive dot. As you can see right there, super safe throw. And we're able to absolutely just torch the, uh, the cover four drop. I'll show it to you again here. And you'll see, again, once he gets out, even he's leaving outside pass lead is so important once you get gunslinger it's a lot easier of a pass but as you can see this is wide open what i like about this play is it also doesn't require any uh abilities like you don't have to have a higher master if you don't want to have it you don't have to have any of that stuff so i really like that about this play all right let's move to cover two now cover two honestly probably does the best job and this is not the best against cover two but let me show you what we can do so first and foremost we can pass lead the square receiver to the left you see that they give you that little animation right there by the safety what most people like to do in terms of their cover two if they bring these guys and kind of pinch them in just like this any little adjustment like that um, now what we can do is we can leave the square receiver outside if we leave him outside he'll kill cover two when we bring him in he's not going to particularly kill cover two but that makes him much better against cover three that being said Number one, you see here, I can make that aggressive catch. It puts me in a really good position to make that play. But the other thing that I want to show you is your tight end route against cover two is going to kill it. Um, it kills all the zone drops, like 30 yards or whatever. It's not going to matter. You're going to see this kill it. Um, you just see pass lead that up, click on, make that secure catch, as you can see. So I'm able to beat cover two that way. On the right side, um, I just want to show you kind of how that play works. It's similar to it's similar to Mike Evans. Um, the deep half this year does a decent job at guarding it. So let me just show you kind of how this works. But if you wait on it, you can pass lead it to the right, click on. You're going to be in a decent position to at least aggressive catch it if you're in a position like that. Like I said, you know, you don't really – I'm just – from my experience, you know – I don't really run against a lot of cover two. If I do run against a lot of cover two, I can easily just go to the play verticals. This still can get off. If you can get this over here, you can get that aggressive catch. It will beat cover two. The one other little tip you can like, you can do with this is you could smart route your fades. Um, obviously, your tight end route is there for you. But if you smart route your fades, you see it's going to make them go a little bit deeper. And then they're going to cut outside. So it just gives them a little bit more space. For that aggressive and that's kind of what the animation that's the animation i'm talking about so and that animation is very consistent against cover two like it's very very consistent against cover two um and i can do it on both sides which i really like the other thing is your seam streak um if you if you get old pressure gosh dang practice mode man absolutely ridiculous um let me show you this real quick with no blitzers because that's how we have to do everything in practice mode and I'll show you verticals in just a second just to prove that, like, if you're running a cover, if they're running a lot of cover two, it's really not a good decision against Gun Bunch this year. But you can pass lead this inside to the slot and easily secure catch that as well. So that's kind of a two for one. And then obviously if they put the middle linebacker on the deep third, then you can easily just take your, take your check down to um, your tight end. So, you know, you have options against cover two. Uh, you also have your wheel run on the, on the opposite side. But verticals is really the play uh, for this if you want to run something against cover two. And really, we can make it look exactly the same. We can take the square receiver, put him on a streak, fade, wheel that back. And then I like to go ahead and streak the R1. And this looks exactly the same as clear out, right? But now what you're going to be able to do is pass lead the circle receiver to the right, 
make one guy miss and it's going to be a touchdown. So, you know, that's kind of how you can literally just bomb every single coverage. If they're running cover two man, I like to go to verticals against that as well. And the reason why I like to go to verticals is two reasons. Number one, you get a crosser if you want the crosser. Or number two, this wheel route kills man coverage this year. So you just pass lead this to the right. And as you can see, you're cooking man over the top. So those are really some concepts that you can use to just really work the defense vertically. And it's going to open up all of the short stuff. So thanks for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, be sure to get that offensive guide. There's a link in the description of the video. All you got to do is go down and click that link and take you right over to the website and you can get my gun bunch offense for just 15 bucks. Thanks for your support and thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys get the guide. Let me know what you think if you picked it up.